Hey, it's Jack here. Today we're in Cheyenne, Wyoming, state capital of Wyoming. We're going to go inside and check out the Wyoming State Museum. Let's go inside and check it out. As we come inside, we see of Native American hunting, also have bird hunting, shotgun right here with a pheasant behind, and we've got this exhibit for trapping. We can see the various traps there. Around this side, got a bighorn sheep, rather large bird there. Over here, we see something about prairie dogs. We see that prairie dogs there. There's a coyote getting ready to jump on a jackrabbit there. Over here, we can see that pronghorn antelope in the background. Over here, we see the backside of a bison, but we have that Sharps carbine right there, buffalo rifle. More information on the bisons. Good time to freeze frame your screen to read about it. There's that big bison right there. This is how they used to journey through Yellowstone back in the day. Over here we got these two golden eagles. For those who didn't know, Wyoming's a big mining state and here is some ore right here. And this part of the thing is all about working with the swamps. You can freeze frame your screen right here, tell you about it. it says ancient swamp to modern coal. That's what it looked like a few million years ago. And this is the mining exhibit, how it looks today. Here's some various mining lights. And the different types of rock, stone, what have you here on this exhibit. Over here it tells us that a little bit of Wyoming is probably in your home. Right down here, if you use any of these products, there's a good chance that some of the materials came from the state of Wyoming. They've got the exhibit labs in here. Here we can drain the swamp. This is what the swamp looked like. And then as the water eroded away, became just like this. Well, in these drawers, we've got paws and poop. Here you can see the animal paws and the poop related with the same animal. And down here, we've got more of the same. They call it tracks and scat, but I like paws and poop better. So I have white-tailed deer. And down here we have, yep, there he is, grizzly bear maybe related to cocaine bear. Inside here is the bat cave. Let's see if we can find any bats. Oh, there they are. We found the bats. Oh, let's hit that button again. There we go. And we can see the bats in there and up there. And in case you missed it, Look at it one more time. There's some bats there. Go on out of here. They have their plant exhibit. This is actually kind of funny because this is where you can smell the different poop, believe it or not, of the different animals in case you wanted to do that. I'm not going to crawl into the dome, but little kids, it's for them. They can poke their head up there and look out. Here's more of smell the poop. This is a sagebrush and actually does have the aroma of the sagebrush if you push the button. And over here there's more animal poop. And if you open this door up down here, yes, you can smell the animal poop. Now we'll go ahead and head on out of this exhibit and head on out into the museum. This is the oldest building, not as far as when it was built, but the materials. It's all made out of fossils. That's the fossil cabin. This is uh, what it looked like maybe back in the swamp days with the dinosaurs. They do find a lot of dinosaur bones out here in Wyoming. This is an example of one. And here's an example of fossils found here in Wyoming. Here's a Camptosaurus. Pause the frame right here, read about it. Uh, here's the skeletal remains of that Camptosaurus. And on the wall here, we have the Triceratops. That is Wyoming's state dinosaur. Yes, Wyoming has a state dinosaur, and that is the Triceratops. Well, here's a Western 
wedding dress, kind of changing gears here from dinosaurs. And there's a history on this rifle here on the side. You can pause and read about it here, but that was actually used in a murder back in 1909. Over here on this side talks about the sheep herders. Got the sheep there, had the sheep herder wagon in the background. And changing gears, this is the mountain men. You can see the trapping knife there, the trap. We got the beaver down below, the beaver hat, top hat. And this picture here is of Jim Baker. He lived 60 of his 80 years out in the mountains. And we get to the cowboy history. This is a cowboy rancher here. Native American attire here. Switching gears again. Now we come into the tourism of Wyoming. Walk back over here. This is the state parks and so forth. Discusses about that. A lot of reading. One of my favorite locations in Wyoming, Devil's Tower. We'll have more on that in just a minute. They have the National Forest Scenic Byway. Over here are some snow skis, or cross-country skis actually. Over here we can see this guy getting ready to have a picnic lunch. There's some hay bells there. Hay bells were used on animals so they wouldn't get lost. Farming history here. We've got some military items over here. This exhibit on the wall takes us through the evolution of the pistol as it's changed throughout history. We got the cap and ball here, progressed from cap and ball down to fixed ammunition, the revolver, then the modern day revolver. There's sure a lot to cover in this museum. We have the state patrol right here development of the railroad, Pony Express. Over here is the centuries of mining in Wyoming. As we can see here, centuries of mining. We've got various mining implements there. Over here, this is an artist who created the rustic furniture. His name's Thomas Molesworth. He lived from 1890 to 1977. And this is an example of the furniture he created, that rustic look. Here's some Wyoming fun facts. You can pause your screen right here and read that for yourself. Well, earlier we had the state parks. Now we have the national parks. Here's the national park uniform there. And here's Devil's Tower. If you ever saw the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Devil's Tower was definitely featured in that movie. Over here on this side is the Native American story of Devil's Tower, how it was created, that big bear right there, scraped down the rock. And here's an interactive map for the national parks in Wyoming. When you click around, it takes you through the different national parks, click on public land, so as you public land in Wyoming, you click here, very interactive. They show you the different things here, National Park Service, these are the national parks, and so forth. And there's some hay bells right here. We showed those earlier, and these are used for livestock. When they get away, you can find them with the bells. We're looking down now back at that Camptosaurus. Changing gears, we got a bison hide teepee. And over here is a horse headdress. The intricate beading on this is fantastic. Walk over here, we have this sculpture of Chief Wasaki. Over here we have archeology span for the ancient life ways. And this sign reminds us Wyoming like no place on earth. This is the silver dinnerware from the USS Wyoming. Scan the QR code here and get that photo index of what we're looking at. But in general, this is the silver dining ware used on the USS Wyoming. USS Wyoming was BB-32 and it was sunk off the Bikini Atoll after World War II during the nuclear testing. 
And with the glare, it's kind of hard to see, but picture that battleship there. And here's more items. There's the battleship, some photos. If you enjoyed this walk around tour of the Wyoming State Museum here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next one.